From the students of the Department of Meteorology and Atmospheric Science, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, Mike Wittowitz here with your Penn State Campus Weather Service Friday morning forecast. Taking a look at current conditions over Beaver Stadium right now, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to see outside right now, and that's due to a lot of low-level fog that we are seeing out there currently this morning. And as we take a look at your current conditions right now, it is also quite chilly out there for us, only sitting at 45 degrees right now with that fog, as I mentioned. Dew points matching the temperature right now at 45 degrees, which is the reason we're seeing all that fog. And winds are currently calm for us at the moment. As we take a look at your weather headlines for today, today is the final dry day. So if you've been enjoying kind of the nice, pleasant early fall weather that we've been seeing all week, make sure you soak in today as clouds will begin to increase for us and things will quickly deteriorate as we head into the day tomorrow. Yes, we're looking at a whiteout washout, unfortunately for us, um, thanks to a coastal low that is gonna be moving into our region. And this dreary weather is really gonna last throughout the weekend and into parts of early next next week. So as we take a look at our current temperatures and dew points right now, as I mentioned, currently sitting at 45 degrees for us here in State College and across most of Central PA, we're sitting in the mid to upper 40s with those dew points pretty close to those temperatures, which is why we are seeing some of that valley fog this morning. And as we widen out to take a look at the rest of the state, you can see much of the same with most areas ranging in the 40s to the upper 50s, with Erie and Philadelphia being the warmest locations at the moment. Now, if you take a look at our radar and satellite, not a whole lot to talk about at the moment. Just a few high clouds beginning to work their way into southeastern PA. But as we wind the, sh the shot out to take a look at conditions across the rest of the country, that's when the story starts to come together. You can see right here, this is our system, potential tropical cyclone 16, likely on its way to become tropical storm Ophelia later, later today. This is going to continue to move to the north and northwest throughout the day today, making landfall along the North Carolina coast sometime later today into tonight. Um, as it moves its way up into our area as we head into the day tomorrow and to Sunday, it will lose any tropical characteristics, but it, what it won't lose is all that moisture associated with it. And it's really gonna set the stage for some heavy rain and some breezy conditions that could have an impact on the football game if you plan on heading out to that tomorrow. Now, as we go ahead and take a look at our future radar, you can see that the clouds will begin to increase for us today as uh, potential tropical cyclone 16 moves north for us, and that rain will begin to move for us as we head into tomorrow morning. By tomorrow morning, 11.30 a.m., as you're heading out to the tailgates, that rain will begin for us. We'll be mostly on the light side in the morning, and we may actually see a bit of a break as we head into the afternoon. But as we head towards game time on Saturday evening, we're gonna see another round of rain for, move in for us that may be a bit more on the heavier side. This will linger for us as we head into Saturday night and through Sunday morning and actually through much of the day on Saturday, not really clearing out of our area into sometime mid to late Sunday afternoon. So if you're heading out to the game tomorrow, please prepare for heavy rain and some gusty winds. It'll be a good idea to make sure you have those ponchos as you're heading out to the game because you will likely get wet if you're standing out in the stands at Beaver Stadium tomorrow. As I mentioned, the winds are going to be gusty for us as well. As we take a look at our future wind gusts, really don't the winds don't really begin to ramp for us until we head into tomorrow morning with wind gusts somewhere around uh, 20 to 25 miles per hour as you're heading out to the tailgates tomorrow morning, a bit gustier as you head closer to the coast down in southeastern PA. And these winds will continue to ramp up up for us as we head throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours. In fact, during the game, we may be seeing gusts anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour here in State College. We'll certainly have an impact um, on, the, on the game tomorrow. You know what they say, weather is the great equalizer So sure, in football games, so sure to make things interesting for that tomorrow. And as we take a look at your future uh, uh, weather with your rainfall accumulations, you can see right here in State College, we're kind of on the line between not that much rain and a lot of rain. Given recent model trends, I would trend on the higher side for us here in State College in terms of rainfall amounts, but certainly as you head down towards Southeast PA, that's where we're gonna be seeing the most accumulations, anywhere from two to four inches of rain. There is also a flash flood potential in those regions tomorrow with the heavy rain that we will be seeing.
So taking a look at your daily forecast, starting off for today, those clouds, as I mentioned, will begin to increase for us, but still not too bad of a day out there for you. We're looking at highs in the low 70s, winds pretty light out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Things begin to change for us overnight as we see those clouds thicken up for us. We're looking at overcast skies tonight. Temperatures dipping down to around 53 degrees. Those winds will stay out of the east for us at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as we head into your day tomorrow, rain and wind is going to be the story uh, with very chilly temperatures as well, only warming up to a high of 58 degrees. So it's going to have a raw feel as you're outside tomorrow. Winds are going to be out of the northeast for us at 20 to 30 miles per hour. And taking a look at your whiteout forecast as you're heading out to the tailgates tomorrow, we're looking at cool temps with some rain around at 58 degrees. As we head towards kickoff at 730, we're going to see on and off rain. I think we may be dry for the kickoff. Temperatures will still be chilly for us though, around uh, 56 degrees. But then of course, as we head towards the fourth quarter, I expect that rain to pick up for us once again with rain remaining in place with temperatures sitting right around 55 degrees. And as we take a look at your seven day forecast, as we head Saturday into Sunday, the rain will linger for us into the day on Sunday and those showers are actually stick for us into Monday and Tuesday as well. Though things will warm up a little bit for us so it won't feel as brutal out there for you. And it's really not until Wednesday and Thursday that we begin to dry things out with some more pleasant fall weather with temperatures in the mid 60s under partly cloudy skies. Well, that does it for your Friday morning forecast from the Penn State Campus Weather Service. I'm Michael Watowitz. Have a great day.